You're right. I almost forgot to record. I have the last recording is I just missed a part of the session. It's not in the way. <laughs> yes, good job, Luca. All right. One more minute before we get started. Just on your own, on your own, just getting touches on the ball, uh, juggling or passing against the wall. And if there's any coaches on, you guys can chime in at any point in time. I'm not sure if I can't see everybody, so we got a record. Well, we, we got more than 100 people today, so it might be difficult to see everybody make sure you keep make sure you stay muted unless you have a question um for me because it can get loud and everyone needs to be able to hear me all right i have myself spotlighted it should be if you're in speaker view you should just see my screen the main screen should just be mine and you should be able to see most of the stuff in front of me or front of you right now Like I said, uh, we're gonna get started here now. Um, if you have a partner, juggle with your partner, okay? If you have a wall, a big enough wall that you can use, juggle against the wall. If you don't have any of those, just juggle by yourself. We're gonna start off with warm up here. So if you have a group of three or two, try to juggle as a group. So you're not just juggling by yourself, all right? If you have a wall like I do, I have a pretty big wall. I can juggle against the wall. Like that, all right, however you want to, okay? Um, if you don't have either of those things, juggle on your own. I'm just juggling by myself. The ball bounces, just keep it up, try to keep it up, keep going. We'll do a technical warm up with the ball and we'll get going. If someone can't hear me or see me, let me know by unmuting yourself. We're just juggling right now. And if you have a larger wall like I do, it's gonna tilt it up. <clears throat> All right. As long as your parents allow you to, you can oops, use the wall as your partner. Bounce if you need to, if you're practicing. Give it a bounce. If not, try to keep it up. Oops. So, either one, just giving you an idea of what you can do against the wall. If you don't have a partner, if not, just juggling on your own. Keep going. Try to get to 100. If you're with a partner, minimum, maximum, say, two touches or three touches between you guys. Keep the ball up as much as you can. Even if it bounces, just keep going. You got to learn how to share the ball with somebody else if you can. If, you're, if your parent is with you, have them catch the ball and throw it back to you. Right? If you have a parent that can work with you, one of the ways that you can have, they can be a wall, they can't juggle. Just have them catch it and throw it right back. Or, or swap the ball, volleyball the ball back. Make sure you're muted unless you have a question. All right, so even if I'm working against the wall, another bounce, all right? If you're just practicing, <laughs> touches, play it against the wall. Whoops. Take another couple touches against the wall. Juggle a couple times. Hey. You have a question? Only unmute yourself if you have a question. So make sure the rooms are that everyone can hear me. Hola. You have a partner or a parent 
Have them just throw the ball to you, receive it a few juggles, and then play it back. If you have a wall to play off of with that is not a near a window. <laughs> I see Chris has a window over there. Try to hit your windows. All right, you're just juggling against the wall or with the partner. Here's a fun game for you guys. I see someone's dog <laughs> in the way. Kayla's dog's in the way. Um, one, of the, one, one of the ways you can play a game, okay, even if you're playing against a wall, is a, the one, two, three game. For the players who, that know me, know this game already. If you don't have a partner, you're not going to be able to play this game. You just got to juggle on your own, all right? Basically, if you're with a partner, they say the number you have to juggle. It's either one, two, or three, all right? So if they say one, obviously you play one right back to them. If they say two, you take one touch, and then you play the next pass back to them. If they say three, right, then you take two touches and you play the next pass back to them, all right? And whoever messes up, whoever messes up gets the point, and then you start from there. Start again. They throw the ball with their hands, so you guys can see me. Throw it, all right? And they say one, two, or three, and you do that many juggles or that juggle, and then the serve is right back to them. That's a fun game that you can play with your partner. If you're by yourself, just challenge yourself to take one, two, or three. Before you've gotten the ball, decide what you're going to do. If you're playing against the wall, say Mateo's against the wall or I'm playing against my, the wall, just decide. I'm going to take one touch this time. I'm going to take two touches this time. I'm going to take three touches. So the idea is that you're training yourself to take different touches. And if you don't have either of those things, just continue juggling. All right? One of the ways you can work on if you're by yourself is the pyramid juggle. For those that have no partners or no walls, you can do a pyramid juggle, which is one touch with my right, one touch with my left, two with my right, three, two with my right, three with my, sorry, left, three with my right, three with my left, four, four, five, five. So it might look like one, one, two, two, three, oops, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, all the way up to 10. Right, back up a little bit so you guys can see me. So one, one, two, Two, three, three, four, four, and you keep going to five, you keep going, and then keep going all the way up until you're done. Okay, that's another way you can get extra touches, make it difficult. All right, so different ways to juggle. I'm showing you different ways to juggle here against the wall, um, the one, two, three game with your partner. One, two, three game against a wall or the pyramid juggle, which is counting one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, all the way up to as high as you can get. A couple more minutes here as we warm up. Even with a partner, you can do pyramid juggling. Each person now takes one, one, two, Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, all the way up as high as you can get with your partner now. All right, and if you're playing against the wall, same thing. Every time you get, you do one against the wall, then two struggles against the wall, then three against, and then pass against the wall, then four, then pass against the wall. Just different ways to practice your juggling here. How are we doing? Just gotta check on you guys to see how we're doing. Last minute here. 
keep going. Whatever the variation you want to do. Last minute here. We have 130 people today. That's a good number. See if we can get to 200 next time. Just watching you guys. So we're either doing the one, two, three game, the one, two, three game against the wall or pyramid juggling now. One of those three. And if you join late, just juggling on your own, trying to keep the ball up. Even if the ball bounces, the idea is, I see some good partners there throwing the ball, trying to juggle, throwing the ball, trying to juggle like that. Okay, the idea is to try to keep it up as long as you can. And if the ball bounces, just keep going. Try to keep it up. Try to do some kind of pattern so you're not just doing the basics. Work past the basics now. All right, and time. Everyone can put the ball at their feet. <laughs> thank you, thank your helpers, those that helped you. Uh, they might need you, you might need them again later on if, unless you wanna do the, the basics. So we're gonna do a couple just dynamic movements here just to get ourselves warmed up. We're just gonna open the gate in place. Just jog in between, just open the gate. Nice and easy. All right, and close the gate, same idea. Try to get a little up, you know, run between. You're not just standing there. Up and over, try to get good range of motion. And then kicking in front of you, straight up in front. All right, and then kicking across. Try to twist your hips the opposite direction you're kicking. Swing your arms the opposite direction across your body. And then kicking backwards and, kick and touching your hands to the ground. Like that. Try to touch both your hands. Take, keep your back flat at the same time. Both your fingertips touch the ground at the same time. So keep your balance. Touch the ground. Get a good stretch. Keep your legs straight as possible. Both legs as straight as possible. Hope that I'm demonstrating properly. And then knee to chest. So hug your knee to your chest. Hold it for two seconds. Up, pull it up. One, two. One, two. Hold it with two hands. Draw it to your chest. Try to get a good stretch. Hold it there. All right, and then the glute stretch, which is grabbing your, your chin and your ankle. Lift it up, hold it for two seconds. The variation of that one is sitting down. All right, you can sit down as well. Hold it for a couple seconds though. You're not just doing it quickly. Really feel it. You're still staying quick feet between, so you're not just standing still. You're still doing a couple of steps in between. All 
All right, and then quad stretch, same idea. Hold it for two seconds, jog between. Hold it two seconds, just like this. There, hold it, and then switch. All right. Oops. Shake it out. All right, we're gonna be leaning to the right. A couple seconds, and then lean to the left. Hold it to the right, to the left, and just going back and forth. Get the stretch. And then just toe touches with both legs. Try to reach up and put the right hand. And then a few calf stretches, just reaching down, grab your toe, reach down, grab your toe, you can do it with both hands. Drop step in between, couple steps in between. And then minute to stretch anything you might need or get a drink of water. We're about to start in a minute, one minute. So if you need a break, if you need water, get some water. Just hanging right now, just wait. Uh, yeah, stretch out anything else you might need, anything in problem areas, maybe your hip flexors. We didn't really hit that. Get your hip flexors if you want, right? With a lunge and reaching up or twists. That's a good one, that's another major one. Or you can continue juggling. Yep, any, any dynamic movements that you might need, world's greatest stretch, um, you know, hamstrings, anything that might be bothering you if you've been training hard. 133 people today, we're trying to get to 200 next time. Or actually 150, that's more realistic, and then maybe the 175, 200. All right, We've got 30 more seconds or so. To start off with, you'll need two, co two cones or two objects a few feet apart. I'd say one large step apart, okay? Just about that, like that. And a soccer ball and a wall. If you don't have a wall or a couch bottom or a partner, then I will modify the drill so that you're just doing the technical side, the, just the foot skills. But the players who have a partner, one partner, I don't think I modify for two, part, two partners, uh, will have to, uh, we'll have a pass in between. All right, to start off with, I'll be facing the camera. Oops, let me see myself. Make sure everyone can see me. We're gonna be working between the two cones that we have in front of us, all right. Between the two cones in front of us, you're gonna take a touch to the outside, fake kick, chop with the inside, chop with the inside. So just like that, here, inside chop, fake kick, inside chop, fake kick on the outside of the cone, inside chop, but I'm not touching the ball with the outside of my foot on this, I'm just dribble, dribbling my right foot, then left foot, then right foot, dribble, left foot, dribble. Set it up only from like that, like that. You're gonna be doing that. The players who have a wall or a partner are gonna be passing against that. Make a touch to the outside with your left, cut it back with your right, make a touch, 
Take a touch with your right, cut it back with your left. Pass, receive, chop it back. Pass, receive, left foot chop back. So I hope you guys can see that. Those two motions. So each, each player is working on the chop, but one has a pass. Inside, outside, right here. The outside, chop, play. There, chop, play. Touch wide, chop, play. All right, and then the players who don't have a wall just doing the same thing, but now there, there, all right? Chop. All right, 30 seconds practice. 30 seconds practice, and go. 30 seconds of practice. Everyone got that? If you don't, you can unmute yourself and ask questions. Kayla, you okay? You got it? Okay, I'm, I'm looking at some of you guys. Your partner can do it if you have a person who's serving it to you, right? Both partners can do the moves. Try to make it game-like. This is practice mode though. We're just going for practice, so speed is not that fast. I'll actually have you practice for a minute. So 30 more seconds, we'll go for a full minute of practice. I'll demonstrate one last time on the next round. All right, and time. All right, so just watching me again. All right, I'm gonna take a touch of my left foot here to go to my right and chop back. I'm gonna go a little faster now. Here, 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 here. I'm really here like that, a little bit faster now. Okay, so this is just a demo a little bit faster. And the same idea, all right? The idea with the pass now is the pass goes in, left foot outside, chop. Pass, right foot to the outside, chop, all right? Here, touch. Fake chop in the side, yep, here, whoops, here, take a touch wide, fake chop, or chop outside, sorry, not fake chop, but fake, a chop up there, inside, in the middle, play, fake, pass it wide, chop it back, all right, really exaggerate that chop on the inside. One more minute here of a bit faster now. There you go. You don't have to pass it. You can just do the moves yourself. So between the two cones, really go wide. Receive with your inside of your foot. Chop it back. Really exaggerate that chop. I like the angle of Patrick. You got to, you got to, your camera's right there. Might get dangerous. You hit it. Good. Receive to the outside. Chop it back. Good. 30 more seconds. How long is this? This is for an hour and a half. So we end at 6.30. 15 seconds. It's about 45 minutes of, you know, about an hour of actual work with warm up and cool down and warm up and a workout at the end. So it ends at 6.30, five to 6.30. And time. All right, we're gonna do one more minute of that, but now you're going game speed, as fast as you can go. All right, this is your time to really work on them. We did a practice round a little bit faster. Now the third time we do it for a minute, and I'm not gonna interrupt you for one minute, and go. Going as fast as you can. The passes can be harder, the touches can be quicker. Everything's game-like now for one more minute. Take a touch wide, chop it back. Chopping the ball in front of your body, not in behind you. See a couple of people doing Cruyff turns. It's not a Cruyff turn. It's one of my favorite moves to use. It's really simple if you sell the move, especially if you sell it to the, that you're gonna take a touch to shoot. Now you're receiving it too. Receive the ball, the players who are passing, receiving. 30 more seconds. Good, really sell the move after you make that, the guys who are passing, the girls who are passing. Yes, well done. 
All right. And 15 more seconds. Going to get co more, more complicated. And time. So everyone, while you're resting, you can you're going to watch the demo for the next one. So you get your water while you're resting. We're not going to have any in between water breaks that much. So while you're resting, just watch me. All right, the same thing now, but now it's the outside chop. So I'm going to take a touch with my left and chop with my left. All right, the ball's going to go out here, chop with my right, chop with my left, chop, chop with my right. I'm stepping past the ball and pushing it. So what it looks like is I'm going like that. So I'm going past it and then stopping it. So it looks like I'm reaching for the ball and then putting my foot in front of it. So as it goes this direction, there, right? There. And I, as I, I'm adding a fake kick. So I'm like that and then turning. That and turning, all right? There. Really exaggerate all parts. You can't really see all of me. Let's see if I can get it higher. All parts of your body are involved here, all right? So as I go to one direction, my arms, everything is like that, like that, okay? Really sell it by stepping into the move like that and then going. So you're really, you're stepping like that. Step, chop, step, chop, okay? Step, chop. Really exaggerate and stab it at the ball. Boom, and then chop it, all right? And for the players who are passing, it's the same as last time, okay? I play, I play the ball the wall to wall, I take a touch, play, whoops, play off the wall, I'm hard to pass, take a touch to my right, there, pass, left, there. One minute of practice, go ahead. Really exaggerate that, that lunge past the ball. There it is, I see some good examples. Exaggerate by lunging past the ball. Really exaggerate it. Your whole body, good. There it is. Nathan Huberman looks very good. I see that. Yeah, we got to really lunge past the ball to sell this move. Both of them, actually. Both the last two. There it is. Dylan McFeely, I like it. Good. Let's see it. I'm, I'm watching a bunch of you guys. I can only see a few at a time, so I'm just scrolling through. 20 more seconds, practice. 20 more seconds of practice. Sell it. You got to really sell it. Your body, you got to pretend this, is, this practice is without players. You got to pretend like you got somebody on you. And you really got to stab past the ball. And time. I think most of you guys got that. I saw some really good examples of the, the upper body movement. Okay. <laughs> And I'll let you guys go in a second. But it really is, I can just do this move like this, right? And just put my foot there and put my foot there. Or I can that, that, right? I can step and you can almost hear my steps because I'm really, I'm stepping past the ball kind of there and then I'm turning. That's the motion. Both of these turns have that type of, right? And then cutting it and then cutting it. I'm like, like that. So I really want to get past the ball, right? Large, a large lunge, and then come back. All right, that's the idea. We'll go for another minute here, higher intensity, and go. Really exaggerate that motion. Luca looks good. Cameron looks good. Uh, every once in a while, if I see it, I, I can't see some of your feet. So some of you guys and girls. Drew looks good. I know you're tight. You have a tight space there. <laughs> Do the best you can. It's harder if you don't have a lot of space here to really sell that. Good. Garrett Hicks looks good. Keep going. I'm, I'm sure everyone's doing well. I haven't, if I don't call your name, that is just because I haven't seen, it, seen you yet. I'm scrolling through the pages. Well done. If you're too shy to show yourself, that's fine as well. Let's see it, Beckett. We're not doing a step overturn. Not doing a step overturn, but it kind of is sort of like a step overturn, but not exactly. 
So don't, you're not going pat, you're going around on the inside of the ball. You're not going uh, over it. And time. All right. The next one is you're going to be using the same foot. All right. I'll show myself here. You're going to be combining the two moves now. All right. So if I'm going to be doing my, my right foot, I'm going to be taking a touch to the outside. Step, step past it. Right foot outside chop. Left foot inside chop. So I'm going this way. There. And you can see I'm really exaggerating it. There. There. And this side is winding up. My arm even moves. Right. I'm like that. And then I'm coming back to there. And then there. All right. So you're just doing inside chop with your right or your left. And then same foot this side, outside chop. Inside chop, outside chop. All right, and the same thing with the pass. Okay, I'm passing it in. Inside chop, everything's right footed. Pass with my right foot, outside, oops, outside chop. Pass with my right foot. So this pass here, for the players who are passing, when you go this direction, is with the outside of your right foot. Right, outside of your right foot pass, take a touch, inside. There, outside, everything is with the same foot. All right, inside, outside chop, same foot. The pass is also with the same foot for those who are passing. For those who are passing, go ahead and go. Really exaggerate. So everything, everything's with the same foot. Good, good, Ben. Ben. Uh, Coach, can you show me again? Yep. Please. I will. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Are you with the wall or without a wall? With. With the wall. Can you see me? The move, the move is this. I'm going inside chop with my right. Outside chop with my right. Now with the pass, I'm passing it, take a touch to the outside, inside chop, pass with my outside of my foot, take a touch, outside chop. So everything's right footed, Oliver. There, all right? You can pass with the inside of your foot if you want, all right? You can't do that one. So outside touch, outside chop, outside touch, inside chop. So all the same foot. You got that? Okay, great. Thank you. One more, uh, one minute of practice. Good. Yeah, the guys who are passing, use the outside of your right foot. You're going to do your left foot too. Really sell that there. I see Paduzzi's doing it. You're doing it fast. Can you, yeah, there we go. Can we add a little bit of that upper body motion? Upper body motion. Good. <laughs> Tyler. Good job. Tyler has a little wall to pass against. Not easy. <laughs> I see you hitting the corners. That's all right. I'm going to go back to page, let's see, page three players. No one on page three has their video up. Dante, you scared? I've seen you have yours up before. Carter and, and Graham, you guys are scared of showing yourselves? All right. For those who are showing yourself, good, good stuff. Good. Ruben looks good. And time. That was one extra minute there. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing, but now left, left foot. For some of you, that's your weaker foot, okay? Or whatever foot you didn't do last time. Same idea. So one, one minute here, okay? Go slow to begin with. It's the same motions, now it's left footed. Same motions, I'm not doing anything differently now. I'm thinking touch the outside, chop inside. Touch the outside, chop outside. And just add the fake, fake. You can hear my footstep. I'm really stepping down hard. I'm planting my feet. Boom. And then cut it inside. Boom. Lunges. Same with the pass, too. If we were doing it with both feet before, what do we do now? You've already done both feet? Like, we were switching. Each pass would be different. Each pass would be different. Like, you pass it in, then you pass it with your outside of the same foot, yep. and then you go on your left. So you do okay. left, right, left, right. I was doing the same foot the entire time. So I was doing all right, and now I'm doing all left. So the pass is here, take a touch outside, inside chop, pass my left. Yeah, and then right. No, it'd be left foot here, outside. Yeah, yeah, after that, you pass it in with your left, and then you do outside, uh, inside right, and then outside uh, right. I was doing all the same foot. Oh, okay. You can mi mix it up, though. Coach. Yo. 
Um, so I did my left foot last time. Should I do right but foot? Yeah, opposite. Whatever you did last time, I'm right footed. So I was saying right foot and then left foot. But you, whatever foot you use last time, use a different okay. one this time. Uh, you, you're really using it. I see a couple of you guys using the bottom of your feet. That's not, we're not doing that one yet. And croifing it, they're not doing that either. All right. The ball's in front of your body. Chop it in front of your body. Thirty, uh, 20 seconds left here. This is an underrated move because you really have to sell it. It's one of my favorite moves to use. If you do it right, you can sell your body. You're faking the kicks. You're selling the move. If I do this more than anything, I probably is my favorite move, just chopping the ball. Good job, Tommy. Really exaggerated. And time. All right. This one we've all done before. It's basically combining those the two, but now you're alternating feet. All right. So this one has less of the fakes. It's more of a rhythm movement. Um, you make sure you're only unmuting yourself. Excuse me. If you have a question. All right. This one is really simple, but you can still add the, it's an inside, outside, inside, outside. So basically I'm going to go inside to my other foot now and then come across All right inside out or outside, inside, right like that inside, outside. Out, uh, inside outside so it's inside outside motion but really sell the move on the outside here 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 there like that okay so it's a really simple pattern but i don't always want you guys to just stand there and go like this right and just kind of go try to travel with the ball as far as you can from left to right because in a game that's what you're gonna be doing okay like that touch like that touch like that, I'm really traveling. Same thing with the players who are passing. Okay. You're going to be taking a touch to the outside, take to the inside, take a touch. Actually, you just do two of them before you make your pass and then pass it back. And then go the opposite direction you went last time. So take a touch this way, outside, inside, outside, and then you go here, 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 and then pass. Now I'm going the opposite direction there, All right? Outside here, in, and then pass. So you do two of them, and then you make your pass. And then switch the directions. And go. Anybody confused with that one? Inside, outside, inside, outside, and then make your pass again, then go the other, the other direction. Coach, can you show it again? Yep. So the pattern is the same. So the passing version, All right? The passing version starts off. Outside, inside, here, here, and then pass it. So I'm going to both sides. Now I'm going to my left, right, middle, and then right, left, middle. Oh, okay, thank you. And then left, right, middle. Make sure you're going both directions so you're not just starting off the same direction every single time. You go right, left, middle, left, right, middle. Good. For some of you guys, I can't, there we go. Let me get it in view. Inside, outside, inside, outside. It's inside foot touch, inside foot chop. Emma, do you have a question? I'm, you want to see it again, Emma? You got it? You have a question, if you need to see it again, just unmute yourself. Can you please repeat it? Yep, one more time. Okay, I'm taking a touch to my outside. Then I'm gonna go inside, not with my right foot, and then left foot outside, left foot inside, outside right foot. Inside right, outside left, inside left, outside right. Just like that, I'm going really slow. All right. Thank you. Just like that. Inside right, outside left, inside left, outside right. 30 more seconds for those who just started or maybe had a question. All right. Just, I'm going to keep demonstrating it, going slowly. All right. So outside, sorry, inside right, outside left, inside left, outside right. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, 
Right. It's really easy like that. For those who are still. Oops. And time. And time. As you're watching, you're going to get a drink of water. As you're watching the next one, the next one is simply just rolls using the bottom of your feet. So you can make as big as you have it. All right, we're going from cone to cone. I have dots, but cone to cone. Just roll, just roll. So we're starting off on the right hand side. I'm rolling, rolling, stop it. Rolling, rolling, stop it, sir. Roll, roll, stop. Roll, roll, stop. You're just going from cone to cone. All right, if you don't have the space to do more than two rolls or three rolls, that's fine. All right, for the players who are passing, you're going to be passing the ball in the, in the, into the square. Roll, pass again. Roll, pass again. Roll, pass again. Roll. So it's just lots of rolls. The per if you're working with a partner, there, you can always pass the ball down the middle. How do I do that? No, actually, you're just going to be working around one of the cones. So you're just going around the cone like that, passing it. He'll go around the cone and receiving on the other side. You just kind of go in one direction if you're passing with a partner. If you're not passing with a partner, do exactly what I did. Everyone got it? Any questions? I'll continue demonstrating the passing one. You're passing the wall. Roll around the cone. Pass the wall. Roll around the wall. Ball. Here. Roll. Play. Roll. Play. You can take a touch too. Touch. Roll. Touch, roll. Touch, roll. Touch, roll. I'm going really slow. Touch, roll. Or you can roll it on its first touch. Roll, pass, roll on the first touch. I'm on my toes now. Touch, roll. Touch, or roll first time. All right, everyone got the idea? One minute of practice and go. Coach, can you reshow it? Yep, just the first one or the passing one? The passing one. Okay. All right, I'm standing in the middle. Oops, I just took myself off speaker view. All right, I pass down the middle, I receive it, and then I roll to my right and pass again. Receive it, roll to my left, middle, there, receive it, roll to my left now, receive it, roll to my right in the middle. So you're always receiving it, then rolling it, pass, receive it, roll it, pass, receive it, roll it, pass, receive it, roll it. Always coming back to the middle or going outside, middle, outside, middle. Make sense? Let's see how we're doing. 30 more seconds or so. Good. Those who are just, you can also just go around one cone. If you just want to go around one cone, you can too. I see somebody just going like that, take a touch, roll, pass, take a touch, roll. You can do that too, to simplify it. Like that. Or around one cone. You can also do it like that. You don't have two cones to go around, or the space to go around two cones. Just go around one cone. So you roll to your right, then roll to your left. And time. Get a quick sip if you haven't already. If you haven't had time to, this is your chance. As we set up the next one. And the next one is drags. All right, so same idea here as you're paying attention to me. Let me turn my camera down. If you know what a drag is already, you can start practicing it. All right, so a drag is, I'm gonna take a touch to my outside, I'm gonna step on the ball and roll across my body. Roll across my body, roll across my body. So, all right, if I didn't, if I roll this direction, I kind of move my foot out of the way, like that. Move my foot out of the way, take a touch there. It's kind of like an inside outside move. So it's the same pattern as inside outside, inside outside, but now I'm stepping on the ball and doing it. There and there, there. I'm going really slow and there. All right. 
just like that. Okay. Same, the passing version is going to go against the wall. Uh, pass it here. Take a touch outside, inside, outside, inside, and then pass down the center again. Outside, inside, outside, inside, then pass down the wall. Try to go the opposite direction next time. So this way, this way, and then pass to the other foot. Outside right, drag it. Outside left, drag it, pass. Now I'm going to my left, outside left, inside, there, and then pass. All right, so that's the demo with the wall. With the, the wall. You're passing it, or if you only have one cone, okay, it's the same thing. You're just passing it, right, receiving it, pull it to the inside, pull it to the outside, and then pass again. Cross your body, one, two, play. Receive across your body, one, two, play. Cross your body, one, two, and play. You only have one cone. I see a couple people with only one cone. Coach, and go. go. Coach, I have a question. Did you demo the first one? Do the, oh, what happened? First one? Yeah. All right. The, the drag without, without anybody wall, any wall passes. I start off to my right. I step on the ball. I pull it into my body and move my foot out of the way. Pull it into my body with my left foot, my right foot. Left foot to my outside, left to, to my right foot to my left. Left foot to my right, right foot to my left. Thank Step you. Up, pull it in. Thank you. Just like that. Going really slow. Hey, Coach, uh, I have to go because it's raining. Okay, no problem. Uh, it, it'll be up on YouTube. I've been trying to get catch up with all the old classes, but it'll be up on YouTube. I, this one is being filmed, so. Oh, okay, thank you. And you guys can cut and finish up later on. For those who have been going, we'll go for another 45 seconds. Thanks for showing up. Really sell the fake. If you have this down already, if you're at expert level, you already got the move, you already know it, you know it cold, can you add fake? Can you look up? Go slower, but go in between the moves, go faster. But slow, slow, fast. Slow, slow, fast. And really sell the move. The idea, if you want it to be more advanced. Uh, how do you do it again? The one, the one, passing one. The passing one. You always pass down the middle. Pass down the middle. Receive to my left. Drag with my right. Drag with my left. And then pass again. Going this direction now. Receive this direction. Drag with my right. I'm oh, sorry, left. Right. Okay, thank you. Pass. Right, left, pass. Left, right, pass. Right. Left. Pass. Left. Right. Can we use the bounce back for this one, like a bounce back? Yep, any kind of rebounder can work. Any kind of rebounder, and you can do it around one cone or you can do it around two cones, as long as you're doing the motions. And the players who are already going, you can, you can pause. All right, the next one here, that was about a minute and a half, is... The pull Cruyff, all right, or pull Cruyff like that, pull behind your body now, and then L, or, or Cruyff, however you want to call it. So basically, it starts on my right, I've kind of angled myself this direction, all right, I pull it, and then Cruyff it behind me like that, I pull it behind me now, and if you do it right, you kind of look like you're jumping, all right, like that. So if I'm pulling it and then croifing it, pulling it and then croifing it. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, maybe sideways, pulling it, croif, pulling it, croif for both of them. And it's the same pattern for passing. So the passing one is in the middle. Take a touch to my right. Pull, croif, pull, croif, and then pass again. Touch to my left. Pull, croif. This direction now, pull Croy, and then pass to my, go to my right again. There, there, oops, and then pass. All right, so you're just adding a pass in between the motions. And we go for a minute practice.
Um, excuse me, coach. Yes. Um, I have something else I got to get to. So That's fine. Well, it'll be up on YouTube. We'll send you the link. Cool. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Go for 30 more seconds. Dennis, you done already? And time. All right. This next one is all going to be with one foot. All right, because you're going to be doing a, a full croif to a drag. So two moves combining. So I'm going to start with my right foot. I'm going to pull, croif, and then drag. Excuse pull. me, coach. Yes. I have I have to go I have to um go upstairs for dinner. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thanks. All right, this next one is a combining the last two moves we just did using only one foot. So right foot, pull croif, pull drag. Right foot, pull croif, and drag. Right foot, pull croif, and then drag across. Okay, so using the Coach? last two. Excuse me. Um. Uh. You know how last time. We didn't get to do the YouTube live stream. Yeah. Will we be doing that on Twitch, or will we try again? Will we be doing that again at all? Um, we'll be doing it again, but not this week. We'll probably do it next week. This week, Wednesday, we have a, a, a webinar with Coach Marcello. Okay. Thank you, Coach. We'll do it again, though. I have figured out a way to, to get it working. So. Okay. Thank you. Going back to the moves: pull, croif, and then a drag. So the the motion we did earlier, right? With this drag, it's kind of like that. All right now we're just adding the croif and then right foot drag it across your body right foot croif drag it across your body for the passers all right the idea here is to same idea okay you're gonna take a touch to the outside pull it across there and then pass it again so take a touch to the outside pull croif you're always going one direction all right, so you take a touch to the outside, pull, croy, drag it across your body to the middle, and then pass again. Out wide, there, there, across your body, there. So going right, left, right in the middle, and then play. So all right foot for one minute. And we go. Add the pass and receive. Firm passes against the wall. Uh, can you demo that one more time? Which part of the passing? Uh, yeah, the passing one. So the pass goes down the middle. I take a touch to my right. I pull croif, and then I drag across my body, and then pass again. Outside, pull croif to disco, and then drag across my body, and then pass. Wide, right, pull croif, pull back to the middle, pass again. Make sense? Here, here, pass. Wide, here, here, and then middle. Hopefully that you gonna be able to see that. I bet if I didn't have it on speaker view. And then we'll now do a minute with the other foot. So whatever foot you didn't just do, one more minute. Switch feet. And as you're doing this, if you get, go slow, but then also add fake kicks. If you got it down, if, you, if, you're, if you've got it perfectly already, all right, the idea now is to make it more game-like. Not just do the motion. Getting touches. I like Hey, Coach, can you show it one more time, please? Yes. The regular one or the passing one? Passing. Passing. It's kind of hard to see me, but you're passed down the middle. If I'm doing my right foot, or I'm not down my left foot now, so pass down the middle. Take a touch to the left side now. Pull, croif, and then drag back to the middle with the same foot. So all left footed. I'm going to my left. Take my touch to my left. Pull, croif, 
and then just drag it back to the middle. Wide left, pull, Freud. Pull it out here, pull it back to the middle, and then pass again. Here, out wide, pull, Freud. Pass the toes here, back to the middle. All right, you got it? Hopefully. Good. This one is a good one to practice your weak foot because it requires you balancing a lot on your, on, your, on your dominant foot, which is usually what's the hardest thing to do. I like doing this types of movements, pretending like I'm a left footed for those who are right footed, pretending like you're right footed if you're left footed. Well done. Oop, that's okay, Emery. You've been doing a good job. Good job, good job Christian. That is my left foot. I wasn't talking to you. Oh. <laughs> I said Emery. I see somebody in their kitchen. I like it. Dante barefooted. I like it. You turn your, 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 your camera on. I like it. Oh, what is my YouTube channel? It's just Jamil Walker, but I, uh, just look, search for me, Jamil Walker. Actually, there's an, an actor named Jamil Walker, but I'll send the link to your, your team managers so, again so that they can send it to you guys. Um, and there's plenty of drills. All the moves that we've done on here, all the sessions we've done here are on, on YouTube, or at least most of them. And then there's also other stuff on there. And time. We're going to get a little more complicated here because we're running out of time. All right. What do we want to do next? All right. So, oops, let me just make sure I'm on in view on the screen. Everyone can see my screen only, hopefully. Speaker view. All right. This next one is a little bit complicated because it requires you to know how to do the Ronaldo chop. So just a Ronaldo chop to start off with. I'm going to chop to the left side, chop to my right side. Chop to my left, take a touch, chop to my right. So Ronaldo chop is similar to the Kreuz, except I'm not really turning my body to, to, pull, to, to pass basically like this. I'm going to be reaching out with my, my leg, kind of like in a straight leg like this, and I'm chopping it back towards my other direction. But as I do that, my other foot comes up in front of the ball. So it comes like that, right, and then that. So at the same time, I kind of like that at the same time. So what it looks like is, right, it's kind of like that. Both of my feet are off the ground for a split second. And I chop the ball like that. Now, I did it really hard just to demonstrate it. But I'm basically doing this motion, OK? But as I do that, I step my left foot over my right. My right foot reaches out like that, and you move your other foot out of the way. Okay, so practicing it, how would I practice? Just reach out with my left, and, and just let my foot come down and hit the ball. Kind of like that, like this. Because that's, generally speaking, that's the motion you need to be able to do it. It's kind of a, a lazy way of kicking the ball across your body, like that. And then you want to add the that part of it and kick in front of it with the opposite foot like that. So I'm li I lift up with this foot. I'm oh, sorry. I lift up with this foot and then switch my feet. Right. So I lift up with my right foot and switch with my left. That's the Ronaldo chops. You can be practicing the Ronaldo top. Take a take touch to your right. Chop. Left. Chop. Right. Chop. You might end up going forward a little bit, which is fine. Just back up again. Take a touch forward. Chop, chop. You can just do chops to chops. You don't need to touch it. You can take a touch. Chop, chop, chop. All right, practicing that one. I'm going to keep demoing. All right. It's hard to teach it if you've never seen it before. Um, Coach? Yo. What is the actual, like, move that if we know how to do the Ronaldo chop? You just keep going. We're going to practice that one, and then we're going to add to it. Oh, oh okay. So just go left and right right now. You can add a pass between. Sorry. Is that a pass between? Take a touch to the outside, pass down the middle, chop it. Pass down the middle, chop it. Take a touch wide. You do two if you want before you pass. It doesn't matter to me. Anybody not know how to do it? Yep, boy, new message. Um, Coach, can, yes. you, demo, can you demo the, demo the passing one? The passing version is the same as the last two, so um, I'm going to pass down the middle. I'm going to take a touch to my right, Ronaldo chop, 
and then just stop the ball and bring it back to the middle again. Then I'll pass on the middle, take touch to my left, or a dollar chop to the middle, and then pass again. So here, right, chop, stop the ball, left, chop, stop the ball, there, pass, right, and you go left, right, left, right, with one chop each side. Make sense? Yep, thanks. You're welcome. Anybody missing it? Good, Christian. Let's see it here. This one's a little bit difficult, especially if you're not good with your weaker foot. This one's hard to do. It's kind of like a Cruyff, but a little bit different. It's used in a different situation. Good, Tommy. Seeing some good here. Ruben looks good. It's not a Cruyff. It's not a Cruyff. I see Drew doing Cruyffs. I see a couple of you guys doing Cruyffs. It's more of a slapping motion. We're gonna, we, end, we did Cruyffs earlier. Where we, we're not going to do Cruyffs today, but Cruyffs, I set my, my foot steps and then I kick it. My foot steps and then I kick it. That's a Cruyff. Sorry, I'll back up. The difference between a Ronaldo chop and a Cruyff is basically this. I'm stepping down and then touching it. All right? I'm stepping down and then touching it. With a chop, I don't step down. The ball is kicked before I move. I, before I move, this leg does not step in front of the ball. I don't protect the ball. I actually, right, but the opposite foot goes first. This foot goes first, right? Instead of this foot and then that, which is a Cruyff, right, left, I'm going right, left. There, you see it? The difference, right? I'm, my right foot leads it. My right foot leads it, and then I chop, okay? That's the difference between a Cruyff and a, a chop. There's the Cruyff. My right foot goes first, then my left. The front foot goes first, then my right. Front foot, then my left. Front foot, then my right. Whereas a chop starts off with the back foot. Back foot, there, there. All right, so you gotta lead with the, the other foot. For those who already know how to, know how to do it, you lead, with the, 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 that, that foot gets the ball first, and you switch your feet, there you go. I see some people getting fix, fixing it. Try again. There you go. There it is. It's used in a different situation too, and I'll explain what I mean in a second. All right, everyone can pause. Just so you understand the difference, because we're going to add to that, and it's going to get complicated. All right. Sorry, it's bouncy. All right, a Cruyff is a turn. All right, so if I'm going towards you, and I want to turn around and go back towards the wall, I would use a Cruyff turn. I would step to my side and Cruyff and go back this direction. Let me make it higher so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So a Cruyff makes me go forward and back this way, that way. I'm going between the two cones. You see the difference? So you'll see the difference in a second. All right, I'm going through the blue cones. I want to go back towards the blue cones. I want to go back towards the blue cones. That's a Cruyff turn. A chop ends up, if I'm going this way, ends up going to my left or my right. So if I'm gonna use my right foot, I end up going towards the post. I'm dribbling towards you, a chop goes like that. All right, to the side. Try that to see the difference. A chop ends up going this way, perpendicular to the way you're going or in an angle away from where you're going. So if I'm dribbling this direction, I end up going to my left or my right. Whereas a, a coif turn, ends up turning me around and going the opposite direction, All right? It's like that. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm like that. That's a chop. Okay. I'm going straight. I want to go left. It's a way of quickly turning left or right while you're going straight, whereas a Cruyff turn turns you 180 degrees the other direction. That's the difference between those two, just so you know. All right. We're going to be doing rolls. So if you were dribbling through your cones and practicing that, dribble through your cones and try to go to one of the two cones. Try to go to one of the two cones. If I'm dribbling through my cones, try to go to one of the two cones. That's a chop or an auto chop, just to practice that. So I'm gonna be doing roll, ch roll chops. This is gonna be complicated. All right, we're gonna be doing roll chops. Now we're gonna add a roll to that. So I'm gonna roll the ball and then chop. I'm going to be going off one direction. So roll, 
chop, roll, chop. Same foot every single time. Roll, chop. Okay, roll or drag, chop. A drag basically like that, like that. Drag it there, drag it there. Okay, if you do it all in one motion, it looks like that really fast. Okay. So if I do it really fast, it's like boom, boom. I go from left cone to right cone. This is why you need to be able to do this properly because now you're actually forcing yourself to do it right. Okay, there, 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 oops. There, there. Oh my God. Okay, roll, chop. And then this pat, this is the passing one. The passing one is the same. You're only going to go one side. So you're passing it, roll, chop. And then stop it again, pass it, roll, chop. All right, just getting touches, extra touches here, receive it, my bad, and then chop. Okay, pass it, take a touch to the right left. Coach. Yo. My, my iPad's about to die, so I may just, um, I may have to leave earlier because my yeah. iPad's late, 3%. Okay, no problem. Okay. Go ahead, thank you. You're welcome. And everyone can try that now. One minute. We'll do one minute one way and then one minute the other way. There it is, Bri, or Christian. That's about Brian. Brian, it looks like it's his room. Can you do it with one roll and then a chop? So not two. One, oh, you can do two. There you go. It gets harder going the other direction. Good. All right, we'll go the other direction. It looks like you guys have been going for about a minute. We'll go the other direction. So now it's right foot roll to your left or opposite whatever you did last time with the pass. Other direction, almost done. 30 seconds or so. Good, well done. And time. All right, this next one here. We'll be practicing. Let me see if I'm on. The snake today. See if we can do the snake. All right, for those who don't know, the flip flap. All right, it's basically an outside inside move where you're trying to snap, snap the ball outside and then inside quickly. All right. And you're just basically gonna back up, right? Like that. You got the ball, back up, let it roll backward, baby. Like that, right? And just practice practicing pop, pop. So you basically touch it wide, really fast. And then you snap your foot around. Oops, I messed up. You try to get the ball to the outside. It's a really difficult move to show on camera like this. So you might have to, because I don't have slow-mo. But the idea is that basically my foot goes on the inside of the ball and basically is everyone that's still there? Someone is. Someone shared their screen. Yeah. I can't see you anymore. Uh, hold on a second. You started sharing your screen. Somebody decided to. I'm not, it's okay. It was an accident. All right. Those who are trying it now, probably disable that. All right. Oops. Bop, bop. 
this really a quick motion like like that. My knee kind of flip flop out around the ball. So it's pop, pop. If I was going really slow, it's just two touches, but all try to make one motion. All right. It's hard to do, but basically you'll be practicing that one today. Just want to try something new today. What I do when I'm doing it is that I, it's kind of like I'm leaning, right? I'm going like, like that. If I was without the ball, it might look like, like that. My foot hooks inside like that. Okay, both left footed too. Like that. It's just two quick touches, but you have to be kind of while you're maintaining touching on the ball. Like that. And it's back up, back up, there, back up, there, back up, left footed, there. Okay, try to move the ball. I didn't move the ball that well. There. Back pedaling. Oops. And sometimes it gets away from you like that. Try it, try it again. It's probably harder with your weak foot, but the idea is to do both, do both feet. Okay? Ah, I'm not getting the slap part. There it is, like that. Okay, both feet demonstrating there. If you can do it right footed, try it left footed. If you're passing against the wall, I really need to pass against the wall against this one. This one's just practicing the motion. You could pass against the ball. What I would do if I was passing it is pass. Just like kind of actually pass it. Go to when it's backing up like that, kind of do the motion. Do the move as it's slowly coming towards you. Just like if I was rolling it backwards to myself. If I was rolling it backwards to myself, it's a pass. Like that. So roll it backwards. Like that. If you want to do a passing. Hey coach. Yo. Should we should the ball be going more forward or sideways after we do it? It should kind of go in a little bit of an L to the right and then a left. Zigzag. Sorry, you can't see my hand. Right, left. Okay. It ends up going maybe left more than yeah, it most ends up going a little bit to the if you're using your right foot, it goes outside a little bit to the right and then back to your left quickly. It doesn't go it sometimes goes straight. Oops. If I was doing it facing you guys, sorry, about like that, that, it ends up a little bit over there. Okay. So just roll it to yourself. Oops. Got a good demo. Here. Touch, touch. It's a hard move to do in a game. That's why I just want to practice it. Can you demo with your left? Yep. You missed my demo? No, no, no. I saw, but the left foot, I want to see how you do I it. I did left foot it too. Like that. Okay. Because mine just goes like inside. It looks like it's horizontal. It doesn't move forwards. Left, like you're, you're kind of going like that. that yeah. Direction. Yeah. I mean, you have to figure out how to, where you're going to stop it. So if it, I try to angle my ball so it goes a little bit like, like in front of me this way. So there, mm -hmm. as opposed to there, like that. So it's where you start it and where you end it. So it's an angle. So pop, pop. If that's how you want it to go. And you really can extend it. You can get the longer you push out, the more effective it is. You can really go out. Yeah, like Douglas Costa. Yes, he really makes it. That's a good example. It's actually a perfect player that does it really long. And Ronaldo does it tight. He does it like kind of like that. Ronaldo, um, Ronaldinho, sorry. He does it tight. He kind of like does it really quick. But Costa kind of drags it out there. He leaves it out there. He really extends his leg out. It's a good example of a player who does it well. Uh, quick question. Yes. So, I mean, I can do it on both my feet, but... Yep. Um, I have troubles doing it on the move. Yep. This is the part where so, you keep practicing it. I like to do it going backwards a little bit. So if I was going to draw a player in and then do it, it's hard to do it on the run. You kind of have to be slowly moving. Mm -hmm. Ronaldo, Ronaldinho can do it fast. And they're this close to can do it fast. They're dribbling, dribbling, and then like that. But they're not going full on speed. It's hard to do it really fast. If you've ever watched Ribadinho from Brazil, or these are old time players, or Ronaldinho. They don't, they, they do it when they're kind of like in a steady, like a slow dribble or kind of moving backwards or standing still with a defender on the wing. They might be like this, and then they go and they do their move to try to unsettle the defender. Okay, there's very few times where they're going full speed and doing it. It's really hard to do it full speed. You gotta have to go slow down or moving backwards. I like kind of drawing the defender in and then doing it. Because it looks like you're going to make a move one way and then you go the other way. 
This is kind of the cool down, by the way. We're just gonna do a couple different moves. Today wasn't fitness day, but you can, if I want a fitness plan, I can, I can always get this a day off on the CrossFit world. Today at least is. And last little 30 seconds here. And time. This next one is gonna be, a, we've done this before, it's gonna be a fake Stanley Matthews to a scissors to an Iniesta. All right, so with lots of words, because I've done this couple of before, so lots of different words, lots, lots of different moves, but I'll demonstrate all three. So the Iniesta, we'll work backwards, okay, is the motion to kind of, you go from cone to cone, you slide the ball between your feet to the other side, and then once you do that, you exit. So you exit going forward. So I'm like, I'm making an L, right? I go like this, and then I come forward. That's the Iniesta. La Croqueta is the real name of it. So basically, it goes from left to right, right to left, right? So boom, boom. That's the Iniesta. The Stanley Matthews, everyone should know the Stanley Matthews is basically the reverse of the snake. I'm tucked inside, outside. Okay, one more time. Inside, outside. So I go, I like hop. First part is hopping to the inside like that with a pass. So boom, boom. I stay on one leg the entire time. So without the ball, it looks like this. Right? It looks a little weird without the ball. But I'm here and there. Okay, without the, with, with the ball. Now the fake... Matthews is based and a scissors now the same motion starting motion, but now I scissors And then from there you add the Iniesta so ba, ba, There I, I'm in the way of the post, but I'll do it left footed so you can see it So there there oops my name here. Yeah, so there 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 back pedaling Myself more space touch around and then Iniesta, going backwards again. Fake Matthews, Iniesta, back pedal. Going to my left or to my right, fake Matthews, Iniesta. It's going really slow. All right, so those three motions, fake Matthews scissors, Iniesta. See if we can do that. Coach, I gotta go. No problem. Take care. Thanks for coming. Uh, coach? Yo. Uh, coach? Yep. Uh, could you show it one more time, please? Yeah, I'll keep showing it. Can we add a, uh, um, a shimmy? Yes, you can. Okay. You always add. So one more time, showing it again. So the three moves that you have to be able to do first, but to do this, is the Matthews. Everyone knows the Matthews, hopefully? In, out. Yeah. Right, so now instead of the out, you step over the ball. So in, step over the ball. The ball's going to keep moving. Okay, so uh, yeah. slightly or slowly. So it's here, here, and then there. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. One more time. Here, there. Backing up. One more time. Going really slow. The soft touch to the inside on a Matthews, softer touch even on this one because you want the ball rolling away. I don't want to do this and the ball go too far. A Matthews here is not a, a long touch. It's a slight little bump touch. The ball's still going in front of my feet, and now I can do whatever I want with it after that. Coach? Yep. Can you repeat that? Yep. All right. Demonstrating again. Inside, those are fake Matthews to start off, like that, and then an Iniesta. Sorry, I'm in the way of the post. I'll start way over here. All right. There. 
there. All right, so the, the Matthews part is just the same thing Matthews with the scissors. You step over the ball, instead of touching the ball, Matthews is this, All right? Now I'm faking that. I'm faking that with the scissors. So I go inside, step outside, let the ball keep going. All right, I'm not touching the ball the second part of it. And then once you get to this point, it's just the Iniesta between your feet. One more time. Here, here, there. It's one of my favorite ones to use. This is part of our cool down, just to getting softer, not softer, but uh, a little bit slower. We're just working on regular moves. Hey, Coach, I have low battery. I have to go. Okay, no problem. Bye. See ya. Only got about five minutes left. How do you fit the, the, the scissors? How do I fit the scissors? Like, how do you fit it in? Because after you take, do the fake Matthews, you're like halfway through already, no? When I do the fake, when I do the, it's natural for me to do a scissors from this. I kind of, here's a trick to this that I kind of do. It's kind of like um, the toe, my, my, I'm not really passing the ball. My toe kind of, my ball, foot goes around the ball like that. Like, I barely touch it. I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's the scissors. Yeah, that's the scissors. Okay, okay. That's the scissors. I thought you, you did, like, double foot there and then the no. other. I'm doing the motion around the ball. Uh-huh, okay. Just like what do you ball. think it was, Mateo? I thought it was the scissors right there when he stops. After, he no. after that, it's the. Yeah. <laughs> and as Oliver said, you can add a shimmy to it. Right? I, I can shimmy or step over, right? I can do this and then throw my motion. I can do the motion, the motion anyway, really. I can add however I want to. Okay? That's the last one I wanted to do. Let's see on the list here. Who here thinks they got to move that? It's complicated enough that it, that's tough to do. Ryan Paduzzi, I'm gonna spotlight you. Hold on a second, everyone, wait. Paduzzi, show me. Uh-oh, I don't know if I can do that. Let's try that, show, you gotta show it a couple times. You can unmute yourself too. What's it called, by the way? Do you have a name? It's called the ankle breaker. Ankle breaker. You got to show it a few times, just like I've been demoing. Explain it. Break it down for us. Wow. All right. You got to slow down even for me. I'm watching. Anybody think they have it already? Go ahead, Ryan, a few more times. It looks like you start off with. All right. So start off with a roll. You just pass to yourself, then roll. So it starts off with a pass to yourself, roll, it seems like. One more time. I need to see it one more time. Yeah, he touch it to the side. Yep. Go ahead, explain it. Right? Ooh, that, that one is hard. That right there. Roll it like that. But at the same time, after that, you do that behind your back. So, All right. Well, Any of the older guys think they got anybody who has it, I will spotlight you. Spotlight you. That that out that last part is you have to probably practice that separately. If you want to see me following the ball, you probably, you, you can uh, click on me. But I, I'm going to you, you keep showing it, Ryan, and we'll watch you do it. Tyler, can you do it? Probably not. All right, we can try it. All of us no. can follow our faces together, including the coach. Everyone try. I can kind of do it. Show, uh, go ahead. Let's, I'll, I'll let you uh, let's see it. Uh, me again. This one's really difficult. That is not at all. Nope, Ryan said no. I saw the last part look good, Chris. The last part looked good. I just can't see your feet. It's kind of hard to see your feet. You gotta put your camera down. You have to jump while doing the last part. Hey, coach, can I Yo. try? Yeah, we're, which one was saying that? Mateo? What, no, Nathan. Nathan, where are you? Nathan Uberman? Yeah. I'm looking for you. Are you on, uh, are your cameras available? Yeah. 
Um, there you are. Okay, I, I'm gonna make you spotlight. Everyone watching, Nathan. Sort of, but I think he puts his foot, top of his foot, on the ball in the second part. But he's doing it. He's doing it without the the what would you call it, the ankle breaker part, Ryan? Hey, you need to put the side of your foot on top of the ball and roll it. Yep. To like start. Yeah. Yep. I can't do that. <laughs> I've almost already fallen down twice trying this. Is it easier without shoes or? No. That's there. I got it. Hold on a second. Yeah. Roll like this. Put your foot down. That's kind of like it helps you start. But at first, you just need to learn how to do this and this. <laughs> Ryan showing us a move. Go ahead, let's let's see it one more time. I'm gonna I'm gonna practice this one after we're done. We only have one minute left. So that first part you put your foot on the ball and then you roll it forward and back, let's say. Yes, I know how to do this too. Yeah. Okay. All right, I think we're gonna finish up there. You guys are good to go. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Ryan. Thank you. Next time we'll have a different. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank we'll have you. A different player showing Thank you. 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 See thank you. Guys. Ending meeting now. Coach. Thank you. I don't know what 100 people saying thank you sounds.